you like chocolate, right? We eat lots of vegetables like tomatoes, potatoes, and so on. We use glasses for windows and cups. Some of us or other people wear jewelry like rings, earrings, bracelets, and so on. Did you know that these things would have been made by child labor? Most of the things we have are made by blood and sweat from the children around our age or younger. Child labor exists in most of the developing countries, but it also exists in the United States and other wealthy countries as well. Child labor, child labor gives too much sacrifices and risk from the children which should be banned from the entire world forever. First of all, most of the children in child labor are not able to get an education. The amount of work they do makes it almost impossible to go to school. There are about, there are about 190 million 10 to 14 years old children working and the three-fourths of them work for more than six days a week and, nine, and more than nine hours a day. The International Labor Organization explores that there are more than 250 million students who work in the world, but about 25% of them do, do not go to primary, primary school. Another 25% of them are estimated to give up primary school before they finish it. Now, the most important, important thing is, does the children want to go to school? The United Nations Children's Fund asked the ch these children, and the majority of them said yes, they want to get educated and go to school. Children are the future for the countries. The world or countries are not going to change suddenly kaboom like magic. These changes are made by generations and generations as more and more citizens grab pencils and books. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Uneducated children won't do any good for the country. Especially for the developing countries, nobody won't want that. But not all not educated children properly, but keeping them working might help the country, but only just in that moment. After that, the country will need more educated people to take care of the politics and society. If there are not enough people, the country would have to go back from the beginning of the race. By the way, children want to go to school and get educated. Don't be the barrier of the children and make them all stupid. Don't step on them and break their hopes and dreams, like a raggedy old clothes from the garbage. Not only because of education, but child labor also destroys the developments of the children as well. It affects both physical and mental health. Children work in many industries, and, mo and the most common of them is agriculture. Uh, agriculture. I ILO made a research that three-fourths of the ch child labor, which is about 163 million children, work in the farm. Many people think that farms are, are not that harmful for children, but they could be very exhaustive and dangerous. Children work for a long period of time, and they often carry heavy materials, use injurious chemical substances or instruments, without any safety equipment on them. The example for the agriculture are cocoa plantations and tobacco, tobo, tobacco farms. Other works, for example, mining, foundry, mechanics, and handcraft domestic service have lots of darkness swimming around. Especially children who work in the street have the most danger since they get the most least protection. In India, we could see a lot, a lot of children working in the streets. They don't have much to eat and don't seem to have somewhere to live. Even if they do, we could see they live in the roads. These children are expected to get more harm in six 
sexual violences and get abused from adults. Children have a weaker immune system than the adults, so they have high possibilities to get all kinds of disease. For example, pneumonia, cancer, losing sight or losing hearing faster. Fall in danger. The children don't get appropriate conditions. In places they work, there are many large and poisonous insects. The heat could go up till insects around. In some places, children even work in very hot places. For example, the heat could go up to 1,000 to 500 to 1,800 degrees Celsius. As children grow with these conditions, they become unable to feel love and acceptance from others. They also can compare and make a decision with whether this is right or wrong. They can co cooperate with the others and have group identity. Children in our age should eat and play around. These ages are the ages to make happy memories with many people. Working in these conditions are the shortcut to death. Children are like delicate fragile glasses which could break easily to disease and or injuries. The, they work six days a week and more than nine hours a day. Think about how exhausting and how exhausting and painful the work would be. These are too much for the little sprouts to endure. While these children are using their strength to work and live, the owners are so busy checking their bloody papers with their greasy hands and brains, without looking a second look for the of the children. Furthermore, children have human rights as well. Children are also one of the human beings, a living thing. There are those who say may, many children are too poor or starve to death if they don't work. But they could die earlier because of the treatment the children have in their work. The, other, the owners don't want child labor to get banned since children are much more cheap in working and since they are young they could be treated what they want. By the way, Children don't even get paid very well, and even if they do, they don't get enough. Then what's the point working? The treatment of the treatment the ch children are having is just like using them like slaves and treating them as animals. They don't drink clean water, eat food from the garbages, bath in the same place where they where they clean their materials full of mud and dust and the instruments they use are not safe or are the ones appropriate for the adults. In addition, there is a law from the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Children, which declared that 1989, any children are not allowed to do any work that is likely to be hazardous or to interfere the ch child's education or to be harmful of, to the child's health or physical, moral, spiritual, moral, or social development. Therefore, people who do not respect the children or and the child labor is just same as committing a crime. Change the position to the children who work there in such dirty place like that, full of blood and tears. They're, they are same with us. Like we do, they want to live like us, play like us, and study like us. Human rights are the basic and basic th things we should protect and respect. Think about the laws, think about them for a minute. Are those treatments showing that other people respect the children? No. The laws and rights are promises that we should or and are supposed to keep them. Everyone says that they want a better world, better life. How are we going to have a better world if we don't even respect the children? To sum up, child labor gives many disadvantages, which are lack of education, not safe conditions or children, uh, to, for children to grow, and ignorance of human rights. By abandoning child labor, these problems should disappear as well. Not abandoning child labor,
labor is the key of key on the development of country which are steady and unchanging for a long time. The better future, the better world won't be there. There are many governments which ignore the problem about the child labor and don't be aware what the rats are doing to them. Giving some, giving some interest, being more alert, strengthening the education could decrease the amount of children doing child labor. Don't ignore them. They need you adults, not only the adults, but if we give some warm interest on them, there will be more, more sunflowers around the children. <laughs>